goodness. <clears throat> Anyways. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Vita. Today, I... <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Take two. Welcome, everybody, back to... I don't know. You know. Mm -hmm. Great. We're off to a great start here. Hey everybody, welcome back to Vita. Today I have another food service problems video for you because something has come to my attention that I feel like I need to share with you, so here we go. Today I want to talk about secret menus. I'm setting my coffee down because this is so serious. I need, I need both of my hands. Secret menus don't exist. I'm sorry to tell you, it's not like in the back of the house, I have some extended menu that we're hiding from the public because it's awesome. There are no true secret menus, just creative customers. A great example of this at my work is the Quesarito, which I don't know if you've seen going around on all of the social medias. Basically, there's two ways that people make a Quesarito. Either you can melt the cheese in a quesadilla and then open that up and finish it like a burrito. Rice, beans, and meat, and all of that good stuff. Or you can make a burrito and then wrap that burrito in a quesadilla. So for the first, you're gonna get charged for a burrito, and for the second, you're going to get charged for a burrito and a quesadilla. Hear me, world. It is perfectly okay to order a secret menu item. But here are three things that you really need to keep in mind. First of all, you have got to be prepared to describe in detail what you want, and you have to assume that no one is going to have any clue of what you're talking about. With the quesarito, for instance, the description I just gave is pretty good. You melt the cheese like a quesadilla, and then you open it up and finish it like a burrito. I saw online somewhere somebody said that it's funny because a secret menu is so secret, not even the employees know about it. Chances are there's some creative customer at the other end of the country who ordered this one time and now he's posted online about it. It's not like all of us know what's going on. Numero two. Order secret menu items at non-peak times. Chances are your secret menu item is going to take extra time and effort to prepare and there's going to be that extra little conversation of figuring out exactly what you want. So do yourself and the world a favor and only order secret menu items when the restaurant is not busy. And number three, be prepared to pay. You have to understand, you're ordering something that's not technically on the menu. So chances are they're not going to technically have a button for exactly what you ordered, and they're going to have to get creative and figure out how to charge you for it. If you don't want to pay the fancy price, don't make the fancy order. Okay? Like I said, ordering a secret menu item is completely okay. I would love to try and make your experience the best it is and get you exactly the kind of food that you want. But just understand, you're being a nuisance, so do the world a favor and know exactly what you want and how to describe it in case they have no clue what you're talking about. Go at a non-peak time when they're not gonna be very busy and be prepared that you might have to pay a little extra for whatever it is that you're gonna get. As long as you're kind and don't assume that I will know what you're talking about, life will be beautiful. So, there you go. P.S. Thanks guys so much for watching. Leave any questions that you might have for me in a, for a Q&A type video in the comments. I might be doing one of those soon if I get enough questions to do one. I'd like to do one this month. So leave your questions in the comments, and don't forget to click all the things. It really helps, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys. Java. Java, 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 Java.